Hello everyone, this is Tina and welcome to my channel Ordinary Queen. Today's video is going to be very interesting because I'm going to share my recent purchase products and I'm also going to do a quick review regarding those products. Before starting the video, let me tell you one thing that I have not done any makeup on my face because this is not going to be a makeup video so therefore I have not done any makeup on my face. All the links are in the description, you can check if you want to know more about those products first up i have these two face washes this one is by Everyout and this one is by biotic if you are someone who don't want to invest on two two products then go for this one it basically it's a face wash but is a scrub particles which will also scrub your face the next up is anti acne anti marks tulsi turmeric face wash by Everyout this face wash will never gonna dry your face i'm using it's been i think more than one week i'm using this and i'm love with this product so if you have dry skin like me or you have combination skin you can go for this one then i have these two moisturizer one is by himalaya and the other one is by navia himalaya one is nourishing skin cream and the navia one is aloe hydrating cream and this one is retails for 75 rupees and this one is retails for yeah, 49 rupees next up i have this primer by wet and wild this is photofocus face primer matte matte base day tint this one is retails for 4.99 but i bought this at 2.99 for 25 ml it says that apply to clean skin use under foundation to control shine and achieve a matte finish so if you are someone who wants matte finish or if you have oily skin then you can go for this one then i have this foundation this is sugar drop the base foundation i have already made a review video about this product this is a liquid foundation the texture is very very liquidy but i am using it very frequently these days this one is retails for rupees 899 rupees but but you can get this foundation on 450 rupees on sugarcosmetics.com i will definitely give a link on the description so that you can check next up i have these two swiss beauty products this one is a concealer and this one is mini palette i am love with these two products if you are someone who is looking for good product at affordable rate then go for these two products please swiss beauty is an indian brand it gives you products at affordable rate these are pigmented i don't know what else people need i am i am love with these two products and next up i have these two products this one is by nika and this one is by sugar this is this is sugar blush you can see the shade this is mauve and the next up i have this nika contour and highlighting your palette let me show you the packaging this is the outer packaging these are the inner packaging and this is the final product it has comes with this plastic case and this is the highlighter set and this one is bronzing set i think i need much darker bronzer for my face i think for my skin tone let me show you the bronzing shade i don't i think this will i think these products will go for lighter skin tone if you have warm skin tone or deeper skin tone don't go for this one but this blush is pretty much pigmented let me show you the pigment look at this the pigment is very much pigmented you have to be very careful while using this product and next up i have this 
perfect day makeup fixer by europe girl let's see i'm looking forward to use this one i don't have much knowledge about this product let's see how it gonna perform so it says that this is a matte makeup fixer if you have oily skin you can go for this one and next up i have this this is nika glamour eye and uh, um, this is a brown eyeliner by Nika, and there is no price written here. I will check and give in the display the price. And let me show you the color. Can you see that? And the next product is this one. This is the most, most, most expensive product that I ever bought. This one is retail for, I think, 17, I think 1700 or something, but I got this on 1100. And this is the actual eyeshadow. It has high quality mirror but this product is something that I have mixed feeling you know there are some you know there are some shades has more pigmentation and there are some shades there had they has no just no pigmentation so yeah this is something that I have mixed feeling I can't say I don't like this but at the same time I can say that I am loving with this product I am pretty much disappointed with this eyeshadow palette. So that is it all I have for today and if you have any suggestions regarding this video just please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know about your view about my video. If you like watching my videos please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. And I will see you in my next video. Till then take care. Bye.